guys, my name is Alicia and welcome back to Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse The Beginning. Anyway, last time uh, we kind of left someone to die and we went back to camp to try and save this person and we ended up running into this capybara. So, yeah, let's just go with this anyway. You guys animal eaters? What? No. Why would you assume? Okay, uh, good. I ran into some animal eaters a week ago. Oh, uh, that sounds pleasant. You mean zombies? What kind of animal eaters? Uh, what kind of animal eaters? The worst kind. They eat animals. Don't you worry, Kappa bro. I'm a herbivore and Larry's a pussy. <laughs> His face is like, I'm actually going to kill you, please. Why are you talking? Why did I, I didn't even want to be in this car journey. Why am I in this car journey? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you talking to me? Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Anywho, uh, you're safe. Capybara, not Capy bro. No, no, I like Capy bro. Nobody eats a bro. <laughs> so, bro. You had any traumatic experiences? How safe are these roads? Um, how safe are these roads? Don't travel at night. Night is the worst, man. Why don't you like nighttime or something happened to you at night? Yeah, that one. Something happened to you at night? Oh, no, I mean, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just don't travel by night. Okay, listen. We have a proposition for you. A friend is in trouble, we can help each other. Now, by saying a friend is in trouble, I don't think this guy's gonna come with us, but saying we can help each other, you know, in the zombie apocalypse, I scratch your back, you get eaten by a zombie. Mm, you know, you know, it's all, it all works out well. You need help? Well, not us. Our friend needs help. What happened? She got trapped. She's standing by a basement door blocking the... Animal eater. Shit, I'm staying away from those animals. They're worse than zombies. Oh, you mean... No, no, she's trapped by a zombie. Ah, haha. -ha. So you need me to fight the zombie? No, just just carry some heavy objects and block the basement door. Okay, I could do that. A few troubles will give you... Wow, um, well, we're barely getting any loot as it is because that woman was like, nah, 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 nah. 20%. What are you talking about? What loot? We have some loot and for your reward... No, I don't need a reward for helping out somebody. Sorry, we have a negotiation genius here. Shut up, Larry. Okay, let's go then. Let's get down to business. To defeat the zombies. Is she near? Yeah. Let's just pick up something heavy to put on the basement door. Woo! Yeah, this is fun. Three lads on a road trip. Look! Some old furniture. That will do. Bro, can you pick it up? Yeah. He's just gonna die. Look at his little face. How can we like put him to kill people? What should I take? Just pick up a cabinet. Big one or small one? Big one. Now nah, we don't need a big one. A smaller one will do. Let's just be safe. How the heck is he gonna carry that thing? Plus, I don't even know if it'll fit through the pharmacy door. I could try. The small one is already heavier than the goat. I'm not completely sure about that. Listen, just take the... Or... Oh. Okay, so if we take the bigger one, there's probably a higher percentage chance it will hold the zombie in and the person can get free. But then we'll be able to carry the bigger one. Um, no, I'm gonna go with the smaller one because it's still enough time. Okay. There you go, see? He's fine. Carrying that. Swatting his face. None of us doing it. It's good. Good job. Let's go. Woo. Saving. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to probably make terrible decisions and they're all going to die again because that's just generally what I do with this game. Krista, do you hear me? Krista? Um, Hank. I don't think she's here. Oh. Well, crap. What's going on? Well, looks like our friend... I don't know. Maybe escaped? Bro, can you go inside and investigate what happened? Bro, you should come back. She's probably dead, isn't she? probably dead I'm not gonna risk it are you sure I could check for traces inside um, all right if you want to sure let's investigate okay you know if you want to die that's fine by you how does it look mm, let's see this seems to be a sign of a struggle pieces of cloth ripped apart nail scratches on the floor furniture shows signs of a fight too wow are you sure about all this trust me I know what I'm talking about Oh, there. I can see clearly that she escaped. She had a rough fight and took a good beating, but she managed to run out. Your friend is fine. Hmm. You absolutely sure about this? Yes. 
Absolutely. I'm not lying at all. <laughs> Achievement at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. It just says, Krista died. Rest in pieces. Anyway, any medical supplies left? Yes, there are some on the floor. Woo! Maybe we get something out of this. Poor Krista. Oh well. Rip. Let's go. I can see that she used one first aid kit for a fight. She used it while fighting? Yes, probably to heal herself. You know, like, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm better now. I'm a video game star. Dude, what do you think this is? <laughs> Elder Scrolls? I'm not sure I understand. Plus, how could you possibly know something so specific and... Alright, whatever, I'll just come back. It's not worth it. If he's got the stuff, why are you asking questions, man? That's what I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, you didn't die, my cappy bro. Here are the medical supplies. Is it okay if I keep some of them? Negotiation genius was right. Everybody wants something. I thought I'd just be helping your friend, but yeah, yeah, you can have... Original, 20% of the loot. Only 20? Uh, you just fetched a few items across the street. Oh, okay. Exactly. Pipe down, boy. And I said 20% to start with anyway. I'm taking the book. And the nasal spray. And the first aid kit. And the bandage. Oh. Fine. Take them. Don't want them. Anyway. I hope my skills are of use. No, you suck. Yeah, I guess. Bye. By the way, where did you learn to follow tracks like that? You remember the Lord of the Rings scene? Where Aragorn follows the Hobbit's tracks after a battle? Boy, do I remember the Lord of the Rings scene. Best goddamn movies out there. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's where. Alright bro, you were very helpful. Ha <laughs> ha, we, we have to go now. We're gonna part ways now. See you around bros. Bros, in it? Yeah. Well this is great. We have no clue as to what happened to Krista. Wait, what did he say about the basement door? Was it broken? I don't think he even mentioned the door. Wanna go in there and check it out? Hell no! Let's bail then. Yeah, okay. I'm sure she's fine. If she had died, we would have found our body here. Um, yeah, just leave it. Just leave it, right. As Aragorn said off the track following scene, the fate of the hobbits is no longer in our hands. I think that's from a different scene. When they bailed on Frodo, after tracking the battle events, they kept following tracks to find the hobbits. Hmm, you might be right. Well, we're not freaking Aragorn. For fuck's sake, Larry. Now I have a huge craving to watch The Lord of the Rings. Do you know what fun fact? So do I. Probably after this I'm just going to sit and watch The Lord of the Rings. It's, I mean, it's quite a gloomy day outside. There's not much uh, happening. Lord of the Rings marathon sounds good. My pressure. Anywho, uh, so <laughs> I'll be watching those later. Maybe they have a TV at the guild. I hope so. So it's a weird dystopian future with animals, but they still have Lord of the Rings and Walking Dead references. That's quite interesting. So where next? There's nothing else left around here according to the map. We should hit the road and go to the other side of town. Sure, let's go. Oh, okay, they've only given me one option. Let's go on the road again. Go. I guess we found our niche in the zombie apocalypse. Well, to be frank, this is my niche. You're more of a sidekick. What? I'm an essential part of this scheme. And you know I'm a salesman too. Yeah, you're a failed drug dealer. You're a failed drug user. Plus, I sold merch too. And those walkie-talkies that we used to run this little operation. All right, all right. You're very important. Do you want a treat? A bit of a head rub, a scratch? Jeez. Anyway, according to this map, there's one more camp. And two more scavenging places on the west side of town. This is going to be a long trip. So we have a time for another one of our lessons. This is one... Oh, this one is called Egg Slip. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Here it goes. If you ask enough questions and let people talk about themselves, they will subconsciously slip the information. On how to sell them whatever you're selling. That's not Hag Slip. That's a Freudian Slip ripoff. That was a mouthful to say. Blech. Now this is Hag Slip on original. Yeah, I can see now that all your notes are just stolen from others. Instead of overanalyzing, let's see how we can use this. The main takeaway here is that we should ask more questions and gather useful information. 
before rushing to close the deal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry, see that up ahead? Is that some kids? Yeah. I bet he can scavenge for us. Nah, we're not getting some kid to scavenge for us. Why not? What's the matter with you? He's just a kid. So what? We'll be helping him. I don't see it that way. And how do you see it? The kid has to scavenge for food somehow. Well, yeah, but... So why do you not... So why not help him out? I don't know, dude. It's way safer if he has someone watching his back, eh? Well, I guess. You know what? Uh, fine, but we're, uh, we're letting him keep most of the loot. Okay, let's see if we can help him. And just leave him. Let's see if we can help him, because I still want that loot. Hey, kid. What's the matter? <gasps> no, he's on a tiny tricycle. Oh, we can't kill him. You want some candy? Wow. Frank, I I'm not a Hank or whatever the, your name is. Saying you want some candy to a kid on a bike in a weird mating machine that's all beat up and there's two of you in a van and you look like a creepy old pedophile? It's not a good way to go about this. Hank, what are you doing? You made it sound like a fucking purpose. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we can help you if you help us. You know what I mean. The kid just says like, fuck you, and leaves. Uh, don't worry, we're not child monsters. Molesters. Fuck. Hank, for fuck's sake, just let me talk. What? Why? Hey, buddy. It's okay. You're safe with us. We would like to... Um... Help you get some food. What do you say? <gasps> I told you this was gonna happen! <laughs> Give me everything you fucking got in the fucking truck, shitheads! Or I'll blow your fucking heads off. He's like, uh, he's like the raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. You think he's small and tiny and innocent and he's just like gonna shoot you with a gun. With Groot! Good work, Larry. He's got a freaking gun! Uh, whoa the little bunny. Guns are not toys. Were you raised in a garbage wind? Where did you learn to talk like that? There you go. By fucking your mother. I'm tired of waiting. Give me your shit! Look, kid, we just wanna help you. Do I look like I need you pervs? We are not. It's just that Hank can't talk with kids. Uh, where are your parents? Maybe we could help you find them. This is your last chance, whores. Seriously, what's with the language? I don't think you know how to use that thing. I'm not saying that one because he's going to shoot you. I'll count to three, and if I don't see some sweet stuff, I'll blast your faces off. Kid, this ain't... My god damn arms race. Anyway, one. Can we just talk about two? Is three inclusive or exclusive? Uh, there we go. I don't know what that means. I'm seven. Here comes three. Look, kid. Uh, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Get real, you little thug. Fine. No, we're not giving him his stuff. He's like seven. Uh, we do not negotiate with terrorists. Three. Um, now I'm taking a stand. Ha ha. Ha ha. Loser. You're not gonna shoot? Nah, I was just playing. You mean bluffing? I don't know what that means. I told you I fucking seven. Bye. Can you believe that motherfucker? Woo! Achieving a lot for prevailing over tyranny. That is one righteous kid. Well, told you, just bluffing, not a real gun, it's all good. Looks like we arrived in the bad part of town. We arrived on the west side. Yeah. The camp should be really close by. Oh shit. What? Well, um The camp is at a playground. Oh, so you're afraid we went into that kid again? I don't know. He might be playing there. Shit. Here we are. Afraid of some kids, guys. Come on. He was bluffing. We could all see that. And he's only seven. I mean, bad mouth seven-year-old, but... Um, bunch of adults hanging out at playgrounds. Shouldn't be too hard to convince them to scavenge for us, huh? Let's see. Wow, look at him. He's cool. He's in a bone pit. He's standing on some bones. And you're a cat! I'm gonna talk to you because you're a cat! I love my cats. Anyway, she looks feisty. That mangy looking thing? Let's not be racial, Larry. You are telling me. It's about time we got someone with nine lives to help us out. I wouldn't mind accidentally wasting her a few. Hey, lady. Can I help you, boys? Um, let's tell us a bit about ourselves. How long have you been here? There we go. I'm going to ask her about herself. About a month. I'm sick and tired of vagabonding. So I'm sticking here, I'm sticking to this place for a while. 
So listen, we're professional scavenging guides and we would like to give you an opportunity to work with us. Scavenge? That's more of a dog's business. Why do you have to go out of your way to offend me? I'm standing here being more than polite. Don't play naive. You've been giving me that dirty dog look this entire time. That's because you've been giving me your insulting cat look. What looks? Are you too mad? Just get him on a leash. He's a menace to society. There is no society, you dumb mouser. How dare you? They look accusing me of being a Nazi because I'm a German. I don't care about any of this. So you won't scavenge, okay? Do you want to trade? I don't trade. But I do gamble. Interested? Is it a game of dice? Of course. But first you have to tie this dog to the tree. I don't trust them. Um, this is, that's it, one more fence you're going down. I'm not taking this anymore. Oh yeah? One black eye is not enough for you, puppy. Just fucking stop it, I'm warning you. Down, doggy. Sit. Play dead. Um, grr, that's it. Get up, I'm kicking your ass, girl. I hate you. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, leave it. We're not getting more punched. That's it. Walk away. That's all you're good for. Whatever. It's not worth it. Do you still up for gambling? Nah, maybe later. All right. I'm not good at that gambling thing. I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's talk to you then, because you look cool. I want to try commit to this one. Suit yourself. Hey there, fella. How are you? Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying, dog. Um, I promise it's better than eating flies here in this camp. I'm not selling anything. I'm not selling anything. So what do you want? How would you like to join us in scavenging? What part do you not understand, dog? Um, so he has ADHD, can't really focus. Yeah, there we go. How do you feel about trading? Trading is good. Show me what you got. Ooh. Trade. Great, what can I have? Monopoly? I want Monopoly. You can have a kit and I want the Monopoly. Thank you. Um, fishing pole, that might be useful in the future. Have a bandage and I want the fishing pole. And they take the other bandage. And a small first aid kit. Oh, you have carrots as well. And, and tuna. Tuna's useful, I think. But actually I'm okay with what I've got. Done. Good stuff. Very good, see you around. Well, okay, uh, last but not least, this weird looking beaver mouse thing. Wait, Hank, what? Are we really gonna ask a freaking wombat? Why not? I mean, just look at him. Yeah, I know what you mean. But what's the harm? Let's just talk with him. Ah, uh, all right. Hey there, little guy. Oh, shit. You wanna be friends? Um, how about we become scavenging friends? You see, we have this deal that we can offer to only some. I'll do it! What? I'll do it! Let's go scavenging! Okay, but first, it, it's here, it works. Um, you're the one that actually does the scavenging, and we are... Alright! Uh, and we are your lookouts? I'm in! Okay. Awesome. And we'll let you keep... 20%. I get to keep all that? Yeah, sure. Wow, sign me up. Oh, welcome aboard. Hang, just a moment. What the actual fuck is going on here? Just made a sweet deal. Nothing about this seems after you. Relax, it's all under control. Okay, buddy, let's go. Wombo, wombo, wombat! What? What? Uh, dude. He's a wombat. Womba bomb, whatever he is. What they yell when they're happy, obviously. Um. Let's go. Where to? There's only one place nearby, a bookstore. Right, anyway, on that note, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, give it a like, comment, and a cheeky subscription. It's all a bit of silly fun this game. It's a lot of dialogue, but I'm really enjoying voicing the different characters and seeing how the story unfolds and what is the worst possible decisions I can make in this time period. Anyway, if you like this, I'll put the link in the description below so you can play the game yourself. Anyway, if you do enjoy it, smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.